interaction layers allows you to create effects like this. The nicest thing is it's totally free, so you can use it without having to spend a penny. However, it's kind of complicated on how you should use it, how you should implement it. So I will explain to you how you can use it for your next website. Hey there, I'm Lex from Takes Review. And if you love making amazing websites like I do, then this video is going to be for you. So let's get to it. So let's start by exploring what interaction layers is. Interaction layers allows you to create some kind of effect on a website. And it may be a background color change like you will see here in this demo or a typography color change, or you can do other stuff. I've set it to trigger on scroll. So when I scroll down, you will see in the next section, when the gray line hits the thick line, that a change will happen unless I press this button. So when I press this button, you can see the background is changed. And there you already see some kind of interaction, interaction layers does. It allows you to change the background of the whole section with just one click. So let's see what will happen when this gray line aligns with the black line. And there we go. It changes to black and the text changes to white. In this section, we unset everything. And in the next section, we try to do more with the interaction layer now it's not the most beautiful thing but i think it gets the idea across so we've changed the background color we've changed the color of the heading and we've changed the paragraph color as well something you can also make and which is free available in the green shift documentation is this menu button and when you press it this effects happens so let's get to the back end and see what's actually happening. So the first container is just to set the gray line to make it visible when something is happening. So it's just a fixed and it has a background, radium background. And I like to write this down in CSS because this was quicker than trying to fidget with the, uh, with the approximate lines we have in, uh, in 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 the general section next i created a wrapper container and wrapper container has everything in there so this is the first container we came across now this container does do something so here when you go to advanced and you press interaction layers you see that i have set up some of the interactions already when this section enters viewport by this root margins with a zero threshold, it will trigger the action to change the background color to white on the class selector background change. Now, what did I set to BG change? I set my root wrapper to background change and in there, the default background color is white. And according to documentation, you have to set the easy and transition to one to see a smooth transition happening. So because the section is white from the get go and the interaction layer turns the background color to white, you don't see anything changing. Next thing we do is unset a color to heading change and text change. I will cover that later. And what we also do is change the color to onset for the BG change. We also have a click interaction set on this button. So if we go to interaction layers, so it is advanced interaction layers again, you have an on click trigger. So it triggers when you press this button. It changes the background color to light blue of BG change and BG change again is this section. On the next container, we've added an interaction layer. When it enters the viewport, to add a background color, black to BG change, a 
So now we see that it changes to black, right? And the color, so that's for the font size, for the font slash typography, it will change to white on the selector. And that's something we also see when we scroll down to the second section. Everything goes black and the text is becoming white. On the third section, the interaction layer will on enter viewport. Change back to white again on the BG change class. Unset the color and unset the color for heading change and text change. So then we go to the third section and the third section has an, also an interaction layer on enter viewport. So when it enters the viewport and the viewport is actually everything you see here, it's white. So from the bottom here to the top here, that's the viewport. And from the left side of my screen, or, sorry, the right side of my screen to the left side of the screen, it will change the background to orange of BG change. It will set the color to white of heading change. Hey, we see that earlier. So let's see where the heading change is set. Here we have a heading and there we have heading change as set as a class. And the third one is text change. And you wouldn't expect it, but I set this, part, this text block to have a class of text change. Now interaction layers have a lot of other Possibilities you can explore yourself. Uh, just for this demo, I wanted to show you how the enter viewport works. So let's add a, another container and show you how you can add it yourself as well. I will add a heading. There we go. On the container, you will go to advanced interaction layer and press the button add new interaction layer. Here you can select a trigger. So I want it to be triggered when this section enters the viewport. I want the margin to be the center of the view and I want to add a action. Here you define what will happen when the section enters the viewport. So you will in our case, we will change the background color of the wrapper of BG change. You will set a CSS variable or property. You can also do this with classes if you are more experienced with this. And uh, you can also do change HTML content. You can do a lot of things here, what you normally can do in front-end development. But this is actually easier than developing it yourself. So let's add a background color with a value red and add a custom selector. So we want to select our wrapper PG change and insert the selector in our box. And there we have the selector. Now, if we update this, uh, go all the way back here, refresh the page. Here we go to white. Here we go to default again. Here we have the change. And here we have it becoming red. So now you have a basic understanding on how the interaction layers work. I think it's very powerful and you can do a lot of things with it. But it's not the best way of starting out. To get started with GreenShift, you should first create a website or a section you have seen online. So watch this video and where I explain how you can make this section. If you're still watching and this video helped you out, Please give it a thumbs up so I know I can make more of these kinds of videos. And subscribe to my channel so you won't be missing out on any other videos I create on website tips and tricks. Keep designing!